Hi guys, welcome to the Lara Studios. Happy New Year, my viewers. It's been a long time. Uh, you've actually the year from me. I've been pretty busy with some personal projects. But I'm back. I'm better. This year we'll be doing a lot of uh, advanced uh, Android development. Uh, if you're new to Android, you could also uh, uh, you know take advantage of this. And uh, if you're an, an intermediate uh, level, you could also uh, take a uh, cue from what we'll be talking about throughout the course of this year. I uh, will be doing a lot of um, retrofit, uh, uh, cutling. Uh, we'll be talking about coroutines, uh, using background threads, and at the same time integrating with, it, with retrofit. I uh, will be doing a lot of computation when it comes to cutling, and uh, we'll be taking advantage of uh, the room database uh, where you could actually join tables and uh, return a map that's very very handy and useful when it comes to advanced uh, data manipulation we'll be doing a lot uh, it's a bumper package uh, and i'll be sticking with you guys throughout the course of the year uh, i'm going nowhere i'll be giving you an addition it's back to back so right there in this uh video uh we'll be looking at uh retrofit hilt uh, we'll actually port in away from Daga, uh, which is uh, actually the underlying library, which uh, Ilt is built on top. And uh, we'll be uh, calling uh, using the FVVM pattern as well, where we'll be dealing with the repository, the view model, and also the view. And this will be strictly Kotlin. Uh, from there, we'll be taking it up from uh, where we actually stop. So we'll be using the movie DB API to uh, we'll be consuming these, and this just uh, a bare bone. You could actually use it with any form of uh, API calls or uh, any form of web services out there. Uh, it's actually usable. So let me just go straight down to the project. Uh, for you to actually integrate it, it's very simple. Few steps, and you are good to go. Uh, you go to your build gradle. That's your first point. You integrate uh, its dependencies. I have a couple of dependencies here uh, because we'll be dealing with retrofit, which you have it here. Uh, from the square up retrofit 2, you have the converter JSON, the interceptor, so that we'll be able to see our logs. And uh, the scalar converter if you need to convert string. And uh, you'll be using the, the glide image rendering as well, recycler view, uh, card view, uh, the, you, you all be familiar with that. And uh, the the circle image from uh, the the library H. Den Hof. as well. Now we have room implementation. This at the point of recording. This is the latest version, two point four point zero. It's stable presently. At the time, it was on alpha, but now it's stable. Where we have the ability to join tables and return maps, do some uh, funky comp computation. And um, the major focus will be on DAGA, uh, where you'll be using uh, the DAGA Ute, uh Android 2.40.5, and you have the navigation component as well. So we'll be doing a lot, and at the same time, we'll be branching through us compose towards the end of uh, the, uh, the, the video as we go along. But let's stick to what we have right here. So let's move ahead. So once you integrate all these dependencies, you're good to go. You sync your project and um, don't forget to add your plugins. Uh, you'll be needing the iddagger.ilt.android.plugin. You know? I also included the save ads for navigation. You have the Kotlin uh, Android extensions and the KAPT, which you also need to include. Uh, you're going to the project section of your build gradle. Uh, you will need to also include the class part, uh, Google Dagger, Ute Android Gradle plugin 2.40.5. It should be the same uh, dependency version with what you have in your model app. After that, um, you also need to include the navigation saver acts if you are using other packages right there. And the settings.gradle, that's where you actually get to uh, include all projects which you have in Build Gradle app, uh, later versions of Android Studio. So you include the JIT pack at the marvel.google.com 
and if you need to add other dependencies or library where, where they're going to actually be pulled from so you have to actually do that there you sync your project and you'll be good uh with yield let's dive deep to its uh, implementation in code now i created two packages called data where you're going to be having uh, your local uh, data which is uh, the the database the room database and at the same time you'll be having your repository uh, you'll be having your service and um, that will go into the data package while the DI just stands for dependency injection where you're going to be having your API module uh, the app module and just the database module those three uh, files are the major implementation yeah, you don't need to write a lot of boilerplate in the API model, that's where you get to integrate Room itself as uh, a functionality. You have the first, which is the login interceptor, where you're going to actually log all your calls. It's very handy in development phase. You get to see your request and, on, and the response in uh, the log cards. And you also need to implement the OKHTTP OK client where you could uh, declare the timeout, the connect timeout and the read timeout actually use 15 seconds. And uh, you will need to write retrofit uh, where you need to include the converter factories that you're actually using. I'm using JSON converter factory and uh, also wrapping it around the base URL, which is the endpoint uh, calling from the service. This like uh, a companion object, which I'm actually making reference from. And you need to also make reference to the service class itself. When you actually include that in the provide and the single turn, you're good to go. Just this uh, is I set up your API model. And uh, we have the database model. Let's get to look at that quickly. Where you're going to actually provide the database, uh, the database class itself, uh, the database name, and uh, also in point at the DA, the DA, which is the data abstract object. Uh, where you're going to actually declare all your verbs or your queries. That's what the DO stands for. So once you include that into the model as the install in singleton components class, you're good to go. The app model uh, where you're going to actually uh, specify coroutines and um, it's runtime. So you just need to just, you could use this, you could replicate this with to different projects that you have in mind. So the data, it's uh, where uh, we'll be talking uh, extensively in later videos, where we're going to have the DAO, uh, which is just the, the abstract uh, object where we're going to be calling, declaring all queries. The database itself, you declare a database, your room database. And the app service, that's where all uh, your your endpoints will be called or the calls to the MobileDB APIs or any API you want to work with. Don't forget you need to start up with the entry point which is the application file uh, where you're going to actually annotate each Android app. These are entry files. I'll be pointing you on how to actually uh, integrate Yield with view model, with fragments, with activities uh, where you see how seamlessly it works. And you don't need to keep writing a lot of boilerplate while dealing with that guy initially. So after that, in your manifest, very important, you need to make reference to the name, movie app application, which is just the entry point to the app. So that initialization comes first from this particular class. So with that, you're good to go. You set up retrofit, you set up room, you set up dagger, youth. It's dagger, so you're set up. Now the only thing you, you need to start looking at the logic and probably the UI on how you're going to actually display content to the view. So that's what we'll be heading to in the next video. So don't go anywhere. We have a lot to talk about. Bye bye for now.